It's a little bit misleading. Lots of people uh, ask the question if it's something to do with the Scottish Mafia or Irish. Uh, it's a book by Misha Glennie originally called McMafia. And um, in the first episode, David Strathairn explains that the archetype for globalisation is McDonald's. So this is the Mafia globalised. Oh, right, right, right. So what's your, who are you? What do you play and what's the role in the... Th the kind of feel of McMafia then? Um, I play a young man, a young hedge fund manager who is of Russian descent, living in London. Uh, his family have a mafia past and he's trying to turn his back on that and live a world of sort of ethical finance and clean living. And then he, a bit like Michael Corleone in The Godfather, gets sort of sucked into this criminal underworld against his will and then takes us on this kind of incredible tour of the world's mafia. And, and, and are you a goodie or a baddie? Well, you'll have to see. It's a bit like Michael Corleone, it's not quite clear. <laughs> it's not quite um, clear. Yeah. And what is clear it is, is that it is an international uh, yes. project here. And that, that becomes very evident from the locations and the type of actors that are involved in it. And uh, there's one thing you do which is spookily in common with me, is that you're a master of the Russian martial arts system. <laughs> yeah? I've seen you at the class, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what have you learned? <laughs> uh, this is brutal. Actually, this, this is really brutal. I believe when I was Te reading this. Tell yeah. us about the training involved for, for this. It's real. So the character has this odd relationship with his Russianness. He sort of feels like it's in tied up with his criminal past, but he also is compelled by it. So he sneakily goes off to these classes every couple of times a week. And it's, uh, yeah, Russian martial art it's the, my, my instructor was this guy called David wonderful guy and in the first session he said in England when you see fear you run away in Russia we see fear we shake him by the head oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's that it's about how you come come in contact with uh, conflict and fear and rather than run away or feel but this guy I mean this guy was quite brutal I mean they were like just beating you well, really it's, yeah in a, in a way I mean it's about how you assimilate the beating in a way but he was physically punching you. Yeah, occasionally, yeah. I punched him a couple of times as well. So, yeah. But, but, but what was he back. teaching you? How to take a punch and not flinch? Or yeah. What did you learn from him? The philosophy of the punching is that if, if you kind of tense up, you're going to get more injured. And if you relax and let it hit you, take, you sort of take it into yourself. I'd just say, a... use a stunt man. Use a body <laughs> yeah. double. Yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's what my mum did. Did you do any thought. other stunts? I mean, that sounds like a stunt to me to let somebody beat you a lot. But um, I did a few. I mean, most of it... it, it Without describing it, it doesn't, it doesn't want to sound too dry, but most of the... Because the, the story is essentially how the Mafia are no longer fighting on the streets with guns and, and fists. It's now fought in boardrooms, and it's how they've infiltrated the governments and yeah. Panama Papers, Paradise Papers type things. So the violence, at least from my point of view, mm. of a hedge fund manager is, is minimal. Yeah. Um, but I do get to throw a couple of punches. But um, as an actor, you see the range that you have. You know, I know people will, will say to you because of this, is Bond back on the agenda? Is it dream? Yeah, it's you know. bizarre and a massive compliment, but um, it is mm. pure speculation. But against that, and we just saw in the, in the promotional trail there as well, what range you have, and you're, th there's tears coming out of your eyes there in one of the scenes um, that we see, and we saw this in Happy Valley as well, and we see you in Grantchester, and you are an actor with tremendous range. Do you pride yourself on that? Oh, it's Kind of, you'd say. I mean, I think most actors go into the job because they're inquisitive and they want to learn about people and different lives and worlds. And, and if you start doing the same thing over and over, then you stop learning. So I've been very lucky to have been offered a, a whole cross-section of people because that's, you know, it's the fringes of humanity where you really learn stuff. Um, so it's not really, I don't you go out to be versatile, it's just hungry for new experiences, I think, as well. well listen, we love I'd watching say. you, everything you do. Um, McMafia starts on BBC One, it's an eight-part series starting at nine o'clock on New Year's Day. What are you doing for Christmas? Are you home off now? I'm off, I'm doing a play until the 23rd, and then the 24th I go and see my family down with my uncle and aunt uh, near Swindon, Newbury area. Nice. There's mass 24 for lunch on the Christmas Eve. Mad Very big nice. family, yeah. Mad big family. Are you cooking? I don't think I'll... I think my Aunt Jilly might be doing the cooking. <laughs> Aunt Jilly. <laughs> Good luck, Comes Aunt Jilly. up to you, Aunt Jilly. It's uh, a lot of people uh, to be cooking for. Aunt Jilly's obviously a master in Sistema as well, I would say, <laughs> to be able to endure all of, all of that. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Thanks, Jay. Jay. Thank you very Happy much. Happy Christmas. Yeah.